guys and welcome back. In today's video, I'm talking you through how to do this super easy, warm, diffused, smoky eyed makeup look. Today's look was created using the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This launches in the UK tomorrow. This is the look that I created using this palette. So if you want to find out how I did it and what I thought, just keep watching. To make sure that we've got an even eyeshadow base to start off with, I'm going to take a small amount of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer and just blend that out across my eyelids. And to set that concealer, I'm using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. This is just a really pretty translucent pressed powder. For my eyeshadow today, I have the brand new Naked Heat Palette. I'll leave all the information in the description box down below. This is a really beautiful looking palette. It's full of so many amazing warm toned shadows. I'm going to start off by taking the shade Sourced and just apply that all over the lid and that will be our base color. Following on with the shade He Devil, I'm just going to take that into the outer corner of my eye. Moving on to the shade Cayenne, take that into the inner and outer corners of my eye once again. I'm going to move on to the shade N Fugo, I think that's how you say it. I'm just going to take that into the outer corners of those eyes. I'm going to leave my eyeshadow there for now and just move on to my brows. Today I have the Benefit Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil and this is in shade number 3. And to set my brows I'm using the Maybelline Brow Precise Brow Filler and this is in the shade Dark Blonde. I'm gonna go back to that Naked Heat palette, take the shade He Devil and just run that along the lower lash line. I'm also going to follow on with the shade Cayenne and finish up with a small amount of N Fugo. I'm gonna curl my lashes and add a coat of mascara. Today I'm using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Now I didn't really like this the first time I used it. I'm gonna give it another chance and another shot today. Now that I feel like my eyeshadow is pretty much nailed, it's time to move on to base. Today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is in shade 105. I'm just gonna apply that all over my skin and get rid of those pesky breakouts and go along with a good flawless finish. I'm going back to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer to conceal any pesky dark circles. And for any breakouts still showing through, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Camo Concealer Palette. To set my base, I'm using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I'm gonna move on to warming up my skin slightly. I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm gonna take a mixture of the lightest contour shade and the darkest powder to contour today. And to highlight, I'm using the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Powder. To finish up the inner corner of my eyes, I'm gonna take a small amount of the shade Ounce, gently apply that using a small pencil brush to that inner tear duct area. And to finish up the eyes, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Pink of Me Matte Highliner. To bring the whole look together, I'm using the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Amulet. This is the finished look. We've got a really soft, warm, diffused, smoky glam look going on today. I really enjoyed doing this eyeshadow look using the Naked Heat palette, but it did take me three attempts to film this video today. Maybe I was having a bad makeup day, or maybe I was just really struggling with the Naked Heat palette. Whatever I was doing with my eyeshadow just came out muddy. I don't know if I just lost the ability to do eye makeup well today. I don't know, but it took me three attempts to get here. In terms of the shades in the Naked Heat palette, I really, really liked the matte eyeshadows. I struggled with nearly every single shimmer shadow that I tried. As soon as I did this eye makeup look without the shimmers, I was really kind of feeling it. It could be good for work, it could be good for parties, it could be good for date night, it could be good for casual Sunday, just going to the supermarket. I just really liked the eyeshadow look, but that is using it without shimmer. Well, there's a little bit of shimmer in the tear duct. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Did you like how the palette 
palette looks on the eyes, would you buy it, would you try it? If you'd like to see more makeup tutorials, you can click here, and for weird and wonderful product reviews, click here. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon, bye!